<laughs> hold on. We're going to do deal breakers in a moment, but I've just uttered something that flies in the face of everything anybody knows about me. Rico and I were just talking about this. And we're, we're, we're just because Rico said, look, he's confident MSU is going to play up in this game, and he's got the history books on his side. However, I just uttered something that I couldn't believe. I said, I swear to God, if you're telling me MSU w- would, would lose a seven-point game, I would sign up for it right now. I am terrified. We are going to get hit by a train in Ann Arbor. And I just said I'd be okay losing to these bleep holes who I hate. I hate Michigan more than kind of nullified every, hunger. Nullified everything you just said in hour number three. Yeah. <laughs> I have all these expectations, and I'm sitting here, and I'm like, I'll take a seven-point loss. Help me. I'm poor. I, I just, am I crazy for, like, David, I would, if you told me we lost 27-20 in a hard-fought game, but we didn't show our ass, I'd be like, you know what? I take it. I take it. See, I think you'd be angrier. I think you'd rather get blown out. Maybe. Because if you lost by a touchdown, you would then dissect the one play where, uh, you know, all of a sudden, a mere speed blew the coverage. (laughs) You did let Roddy Bell get loose on that play. Right. And you could have just tackled JJ. Wait, I'm sorry. (laughs) When did I turn into Al Sharpton? (laughs) What was that impersonation? Are you serious with that impersonation? You didn't let Ronnie Bell get loose on the play. Can I get an amen? He turned me into a character from like Medea Goes to Church. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of imitation was that? <laughs> I'm not good at these imitations. Does okay? that make me? Well, no, your Stephen A. Smith one told us right off the top that wasn't in your future. Sounded just like him. I, does that make me a bad Spartan fan? No. Because this has a 1990 feel to it. You Number know one it, versus no one. And how did that end up? In in ecstasy. But once again. I just. You, you know, <laughs> no, all you did was what I said in hour number three. You lowered and you suspended expectations. This is an emotional time right now, okay? <laughs> Wait, what? Come on, stop. This is ridiculous. What's the matter with you your people? Su- yeah, you suspended expectations. All right, let's take it easy. And that's how some fan bases have to do this. That's quite enough. Okay. No! <laughs> David, the ticket text. I can't no! believe I just said I would, I, I'd be like, you know what, if they lost but played really well, I'd be okay with it. I, I, that's how you know we're having a terrible year. Okay, then. Uh, Someone said, if Kenny ran a sports book, the odds would be Michigan minus Zingerman's, MSU plus yeah, Jimmy John. It'd be Michigan okay, minus you know Pastrami. <laughs> Did that person leave a name? No name. Because he won the internet today. <laughs> that was actually clever. Kenny's saying he's cold cuts comfortable right. with Michigan minus. <laughs> plus, plus Jimmy John's. Right. <laughs> Side of hot pepper relish. Since the year 2001, Michigan Michigan State game has been decided by seven points or less in 10. I know. The 21 matchups. David, here's the Nova. other thing. Look, we're 10 and 4 the last 14 years. Or if you just took the Harbaugh years, we're 4 and 3. It's not like we don't play up. It's not like we don't play well. And it's not like we haven't had some bad teams in that mix. I'm just saying. First of all, it's a compliment to Michigan. I opened this week saying, hey. No, you nailed the point spread. You, I, you, you got it. And I just think the national champion is going to be Ohio State or Michigan. I don't trust these other teams. It's a compliment. I think they're that good. And look, it was relief, not joy, beating Wisconsin. I just wanted to win a game. Right. I wanted them to get up off the mat. Mike, I just wanted them to have a lead in the game. That was it. Just a lead. I felt good. I think that was your expectation because you had that in your prop. It was in the prop bet. The, the only thing, the only thing less, will they have a lead at any point in the game? The only thing less than that on the expectations bingo <laughs> board is hope score point. Right. <laughs> oh, now who's lowering their expectations, Rico? No, <laughs> Kenny. I said we may have to start lowering expectations across the board in this town, and that was one. Kenny, they didn't have a lead for a month. I know you're a Georgia fan. You don't know what that means. Don't you compare your team to my Red Wings, okay? That's complete. That's not apples and oranges. That's not even close. They didn't have a lead for a month. Think right. about that. That sounds like the Red Wings last February. At no point. Yes, 
<laughs> at no point until they finally hit 21 to 14. And I'm thinking, oh, thank God. This is what it feels like. Like, yeah. Sun came out. Like, yes. All right. Birds chirping. And then they held on to it, despite what Angelo Gross tried to do to it. And Mel Tucker's inability to do basic math. And, you know, because that was some of the worst clock management I've ever seen since Hillbilly John L. Smith. No, the. you have to realize the Lions didn't play that week, so he had to take the place of Dan Campbell. Yeah, D- David, actually, Dan Campbell's brain. Uh, it, it, okay. it, Mel Tucker was body snatched. It was Dan Campbell wearing a Mel Tucker suit. Here's what made it worse. It's like a Halloween costume. You're on your backup kicker. Not that your first kicker's hurt. You just don't trust. You're your backup kicker, but you're playing to kick the field goal to win right. the game. You know the fun part of this? Ready? Why? Ready? Why? And I think I know just about as much as anybody when it comes to Michigan State and all this. I don't even know what kicker's trotting into the game, depending on the day, time, quarter, week, series. They they may, they could have literally packed up Kenny Cott. You could see some out of shape bearded guy with a vodka bottle in his hand kicking, and I'd be like, "Well, guess we found a new kicker on campus." I we have no, no. idea who kicks for us. Right footed kicker Jack Stone, left footed kicker <laughs> Auburn transfer Kenny. That's even how have you know, that's how I know the difference. Kenny's got a backwards hat, beard. <laughs> And a you think t-shirt, we, and he's think, out here kicking. I feel like we can well, sneak Kenny in the tunnel and put on, like, give him a, like yeah. a 97 jersey. Single bar face mask, like one of those, the Halloween helmets you would yeah. give your kid. Yes. I don't know who our kicker is. Yeah. I don't know, depending. Uh, they actually brought a kid in a couple weeks ago. I didn't even know he was on the team. Yeah. I think it was the Auburn transfer. No. Oh, it wasn't it him. It was the other kid. Like Bobby Beekman or whatever his name was. Bobby they have Beekman. Jack Stone. Right. They got the Carlson kid. Oh, and you're then they right. got it was the, like a walk on. Yeah. It was a kid from psychology class. Yeah. Staszinski or whatever. I'm like, I who think, is this? Did no, he win a competition? You know he had won the week before when you kicked from the 25. He was the, the Dr. Goal. Pepper Scholar Athlete of yes. the Week. That's <laughs> who kicks for state. He made the end of the third quarter field goal. He that's made it. it. And that's they the said, other son. thing about when we play Michigan. We're not going to be able to kick a field goal. No, that's why at this point, embrace the fact, and this is where you do go full Dan Campbell. It's just fourth down, fellas. Every time we drive down the field, unless you're inside the 15, you're going for it. If Mel Tucker is out there with a mouthful of chew, I'll know my body snatcher theory is true. (laughs) Tuck's out there wearing a grit hat and has a mouthful of chaw. That's how I'll know my body snatcher theory is real. Absolutely. You you can't line up to kick a field goal. What, David? Something Kenny just told me. I'm not saying it. Whoa. Whoa. Take That's it easy. All. Take it wow. easy. David, the ticket text, please. Yeah, someone's willing to uh, make that bet, Rico. This says, I'm in. I'll bet Rico 1,000 with Michigan minus 7.5. That is from Mike. I think, Mike, you're not supposed to send text in. I, right. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Mike sitting three feet from me. Right. At least change up your name. <laughs> From Gennaro. <laughs> From Sparty Mike. <laughs> Rico, I disagree with you. Mike, you are correct, though. This Michigan versus Michigan State game is different than other years. David, but here's the thing. It's always different. And every every time I hear it, but this year's different. And it ends up being the same. I think the, the difference I would say is this. Less to do with MSU, more to do with them. I actually think for one of the only times in their existence, they're real. No, no, they're Mike, real. I thought about that. It was the the uh, the 2016 year. That was yeah. I'm like I thought Michigan was going to come into East Lansing mm-hmm. and blow them away. Oh, was that the game we actually scored the first drive? Yeah, and that and I think the working ended up breaking his leg, and Jabril Peppers had to take a two point conversion back the other way, and I think Michigan ended up winning that game by eight points because he could, that. But other than that, that that team came in there. That was the worst Spartan team I'd ever seen in my life. That was that was until you saw the next the next right. It's like I've seen it before. It's like, yeah, this hey, supposed look, to be bad. And look, I can I can build a pathway to them being competitive, but it takes a lot and I don't have the emotion to do it today. So, uh David, a, a few more of those and then we'll get to the I ain't it. saying they're winning. I'm just saying history says these are a lot closer. Kenny is cold cuts confident. Well, so speaking of that, someone did text. Cold cuts confidence meter. That's what we need to call this now. Kenny's got seven slices uh, uh, out of ten. Guys, Michigan is going to win this game by 30-plus. The 22-and-a-half line is too low, but they couldn't make it too crazy. I agree with that. I think if you cross 24, you get an imbalance. 
I think this is a lot of points in a rivalry game, historical data. Look, guys, it's not a predictive measure. It's a money market manager. That's what spreads are. So the, the, the third stringers will not let the Michigan-Michigan State score get closer than 14. That are saying it's going to be such a blowout that the third stringers. You don't. Play. You know what? You don't know your coach, do you? Correct. Man, Jim playing. Harbaugh and I have no. And by he the way, ain't no third stringer. They not remember, in this game. Oh, in twenty nineteen, they they ran a trick play up by right. thirty some. And points. no one's calling the ambulance. No, I'm I not appreciate mad about it. it. That's what rivalries are. Mark D'Antonio was guilty of it. Harbaugh loves it. If Harbaugh gets a chance to twist the knife, do it. Yeah, that's they, what rivalries are. Well, I think it was a flea flicker or something they ran or. A, a halfback Do you know pass. they invented the flea flicker? They did. And I, honestly, I sat there and chuckled and was like, you know what? That was a good call. That was a good call. I ain't mad at You're that. You're welcome for modern football. Right. They invented the Michigan. forward pass, didn't they? Wasn't yeah. that Benny Oosterbaum? Sure was. Yeah, helmets, 100-yard fields. Shoulder pads. Everything they wear now is from Michigan. Right, exactly. Yeah. Heard rumors fields used to just be 97 right, well, yards. Uh, okay, we're all – okay, then. <laughs> that's a shot.